got some ice cream. It's pretty good. Don't have any chocolate syrup, so I just sprinkled some like Nesquik dust on it. Pretty good. Still pretty good. Hacks, am I right? I'm a vlogger now. What's up guys? Um, I'm start vlogging because I've never done it before and I'm about to do some crazy stuff uh, in the coming days and I want to tell you guys all about it. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna guess that like friends and family are watching this. So hello. Um, this is my room. Uh, it is as you probably all have predicted it to be. Look at how fucking messy this is, holy cow. I have it all, I have a, a, a Beatles a, a freaking um, um, calendar. Um, I have a Paul McCartney thingy for guitars. I have uh, this little record that you used to play with like comics. So like they would sell comic books and this series of monster power records or whatever they'd come out you'd read it alongside it's like a read-along for comics and it's it's kind of cool um have it hung up there here are my hats uh let's see there's a porg hat there's my uh work hat here's my my looney tunes hat and here's a star wars hat that i have there should i should have cleaned i feel i feel so embarrassed now this is super messy um and i just cleaned my room like last night too so this is like the only thing I didn't clean, so I guess I can clean and talk, right? Fuck you if you don't like this shit, I don't care. Um, here's my uh, Star Wars book. I read this last... Actually, I, re I got these when The Force Awakens came out. They had these like books called The Road to The Force Awakens, or Journey to The Force Awakens, and I, you know, this was a cool book. Um, it's interesting because in this book, Luke goes to this old Jedi temple, and he actually meets a scavenger, and it's like, kind of, I don't know, it's like, there's nothing, like, in The Last Jedi that, there's just some parallels is all I'm saying, but this is a good book. I don't really remember much from it, but there's, like, this, like, villain that shows up because they have to have a villain, and it's cool. Yeah, you know, it's a good book. Um, but yeah, here's my other books. I have <laughs> this, like, really old, um, like, I need to, rip, like, glue it together, Jaws Log. It's an amazing book, details everything that happened in the making of Jaws, really good. Um, Candyman, because why not? Uh, here's a, a, a autobiography, not autobiography, it's a biography of uh, Orson Welles. Really good, dude. It's like you're you're there interviewing him. It's really good. If you're into this man, this is definitely the book to get. And then I have uh, like a little old comic book. Um, and then I have, let's see, a Darth Maul, which I honestly kind of felt underwhelmed by this. Like I only got it because, hey, Darth Maul. And then I ended up like not even being that interested into it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't find Darth Maul that interesting because like... You know, uh, in the, like, episode one, he had, like, what, one, like, one line, like, he said, like, we're gonna reveal ourselves and shit, and that's all he said, and then, you know, yeah, in the Clone Wars, he's in the show, and he's got an amazing role in everything, and he's in Rebels, and he's got an amazing role in that, too, but I don't really care. Uh, let's see, uh, we got, you got X-Men Days of Future Past, really good, right there, and then V for Vendetta, written by the wonderful Alan Moore. Um, I got this at a yard sale actually. It's really cool. I've never read like the OG like TMNT So, you know pretty cool. Here's a another um, This is actually an autobiography um, of a movie producer. She produced um, Contact and Interstellar Linda Ops, I think uh, let's see I haven't read all of it. It's upside down. Sorry, but It's really good. It, it, it does give you like a taste of like what? being a producer in Hollywood might be like. It's a little outdated, of course, because I mean, obviously like times have changed a lot, <laughs> but uh, it's a good read anyways. And then here's a, an editing book. Uh, actually, I haven't gotten around to reading this one, but I'm going to, because um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. And I never read like a book on editing, so that's kind of interesting, right? And then here's John Lennon and Yoko Ono's, like, they're, like this was their last interview they did. Uh, they did it with Playboy magazine. Um, cause you know, uh, people might not know this, but like Playboy magazine was actually something people would like read, like, <laughs> like not just for the, you know, pictures, but there was actually some good interviews there and stuff like that, like any magazine. So, you know, this was, um, the final interview John Lennon did before he tragically passed away. And then, you know, I got some, some, so cassettes, I actually just bought this Walkman right here 
and uh, this is nothing. Um, let's see, there's this this stamp. I got this at a flea market like years ago, like I don't know how long ago. I actually have this other one over here of. Uh, I'm not getting that. Here's some of my clothes. Look at my clothes, bro. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, look, at this look at this clothing. Um, oh, let's look at my Blu-rays. That's what we could do. All right. So I love movies, right? So these are the movies I have right here. Um, I I tend to like get movies that I like. I can rewatch a shit ton of times. So um, I got Paul. Really underrated movie. Not like underrated in the sense that nobody knows about it, but like no one gives it love. But I do because I I think it's cool. I like Nick Frost and Simon Pegg, and uh, Seth Rogen plays an alien. Pretty funny. Pretty funny movie. Uh, the brilliant Hot Fuzz, directed by Edgar Wright. Force Awakens, of course. Duh. Good Fellows, and then you got Inception. Good movie. Um, Watchmen, the Snyder Cut, actually. This is the Snyder Cut. And then you got The Dark Knight Rises. Argo, directed by Ben Affleck. Um, it got him the uh, Best Picture uh, winner, uh, the Oscar. And then you got Prisoners, ooh, it's so good. Like, saw this movie when I was like 13 or 14, can't remember when it came out, but it's so good. And then you got uh, Baby Driver, Edgar Wright, John Carpenter's The Thing, uh, Psycho, Jurassic World, and then you got, uh, let's see, Hateful Eight. This like literally is a movie that could literally just be a play on Broadway, which I, I, could, I want them to do that one day, that'd be amazing. Um, and you got Alien, the original, uh, with the extended cut. I, I like the uh, the real cut. The or extended cut is literally like more shots and nothing really that interesting. Um, it's the Planet of the Apes, Charles Hanston, the original. Uh, I love it. Spirited Away, I just got this one actually. Uh, I haven't gotten around to like looking at the bonus features, but I do love this movie. It's really good, like beautiful movie. And then you got I Am Legend with Will Frickin' Smith with the alternate cut. Oh, also, uh, funny thing about this movie. So, the original ending that you've seen, because I know everyone has seen this movie. If you haven't seen this movie, don't talk to me ever again. But, like, you, you know, for those that have seen it, um, the ending is, like, one of those controversial-ass endings. And I'm sure people have seen, like, YouTube videos on it or something. Um, probably that dumb Watch Mojo one. But, like, you need to see it with, like, the intended uh, ending, the alternate ending. It's so much better and actually, like, it, like, it just makes you wonder, like, what the fuck were they thinking with that original ending? Like, it makes no sense. I don't want to spoil it, but definitely if you want to get it, get the Blu-ray. Last but not least, Interstellar by Christopher Nolan. Oh, wait, and the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I had more. Some of them went missing. Uh, I can't find my, like, Spider-Man 2 Blu-ray or my Scott Pilgrim Blu-ray, but... So then I got some movies here. Look at this. 500 Days, 2001, Rush Hour 3, Kevin Smith's Dogma... Dodgeball, Walk the Line, King Kong, Pursuit of Happiness, the Star Wars movies, Rocky, Iron Man, Citizen Kane, Casino Royale, Secret of Nin, The Simpsons movie, A Clockwork Orange, Insomnia, Hitchcock, and a couple seasons of The Simpsons. Uh, and then, you know, I got some more Br uh, Bruce Identity, Bruce Identity, Born Identity, and then The Da Vinci Code, which I consider a guilty pleasure. I like this movie. Um, I got some Nintendo games. Punch Out. Um, this is something that not like a lot of people have. I have the Back to the Future Part Two and Three NES game made by the infamous LJN. Uh, shitty game. It, it is. It's a shitty game. It is not. I can't really defend it. I only have it because I'm that guy. So of course I have to have it. I do have some VHS, but whatever. It's nothing. And then I got like a, this uh, Super Nintendo, the new like Nintendo that ha connects to HDMI. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, here's like a film stamp I got for like a dollar at a flea market Cause why not? I mean, you know when I start like mailing shit, I'm like boom Film what you got the shining of course here and then some more hats so. Here's my THX hat. So what's going on in my life? Why am I like super excited because um So for those of you guys who know me like I make movies mm. oh, Okay Okay, yo, okay, yeah. I've been making movies since like, again, the beginning of life, I think. I can't even remember like a time where I didn't want to do like film. But with that said, um, I made a movie this year that I've been working on since like high school, sophomore year. 
and I screened it at the State Theater. People came in and it was beautiful. It was like, honestly, just last night I was not really like thinking about it too much, but I kind of, it came to mind. I realized, damn, if I had not done that, none of this would have happened. I made the movie, I screened it, and I got into contact with somebody from Texas and they were giving me tips about how to like handle your first premiere. And eventually that blossomed into a like mentor, like tips here and there kind of deal. And now, you know, a couple months later, um, I'm uh, I'm a day away from flying to Texas to meet the guy and, you know, start something. We'll see. We'll see. We'll start something. I, I, I wish I would have, like, vlogged, like, a couple days before I left. But the thing is, like, I'm only going for a month. So I'm going to be there from November 1st to the 16th. And basically, it's going to be, like, him training me, showing me the ropes of his thing. I don't know what to expect. I think it's going to be, like, super just grind like let's edit let's film let's do this let's go don't question it let's just do it and go um which is what i want um um i do have a part-time job but uh like you know i don't want to do that forever but now that i have this opportunity opened up for me um i'm kind of like ready like i'm ready to do it and i'm ready to go and I mean, i'm not gonna lie like i'm nervous of course i've never actually flown before so um for those of you guys watching this vlog you're gonna you're gonna tag along with me because i don't want to do this alone i don't I don't like being alone. I like to have someone there and be like, you can do it. So if you're one of those people who wants to be those you can do it kind of people, then tag along with me because I need those kind of people. But the adventure isn't over because I still have to print my itinerary. Um, I've never I've never done this before. So I just got off from texting Chris, who's the guy who's like spotted me and given me this amazing opportunity. Um, if you see this video, it's gonna be kind of weird, huh? That you're like watching this video before I get there. But hi, Chris. I can't wait to meet you. Um, my my printer my printer actually doesn't work. Uh, so I have to go to my local library because that's the only other place I can think of. I don't want to be like texting people like, "Yo, you got a printer?" and just you know get there, have it get jammed. I'd rather just go somewhere where like I know the printers work. So we're gonna go to my uh, downtown library to do it. Let's go. Before, before I go, actually, I want to show you something. As of today, of filming this, it's. Uh, October 30th so one day before Halloween let's let's go let's go to my living room see if see if it looks that way oh hell no oh hell no bro it's literally not even November yet Just got here, downtown library, got my library car, let's do this. Fun fact, uh, I rent movies here. They have movies here, this is my, literally my blockbuster. Any movie you'd wanna find, they probably have it here. It's pretty cool. I was just talking about Paul at the house and I guess someone checked it out recently. Pretty cool. The deed is done. I'm ready to go home and, I don't know, watch a movie. I think that's, that's it though. I think that's everything. Um, tomorrow is my, my last day, not ever, but in Modesto for this month and the month following. And then after that, it, you know, at, at um, 4 a.m. in the morning, I gotta go to the Sacramento airport and have a little adventure of my own. So until then, I'll see you guys then. I'll get out of here.